Michelle used to ask me, tell us a story, Dad. And we'd invent a bedtime tale with daring rabbits and foxes fooling them. So this is a tale of high school sweethearts finding each other again after forging their paths through flights of fancy, wilderness adventures, city lights, and dusty playa. from my grandparents to my mother on her 21st birthday. Aww. And then she gave that to me. Yes. Yes. You were like so really young. <laughs> Our relationship is built on a deep love and respect for one another that expresses itself through sarcastic quips and decades-long inside jokes. I balance out your to-do lists with my to-do lists, where I color in the flowers instead of checking items off the list as I complete them, and you balance my need to rearrange our apartment furniture when I'm stressed with your patience and your ability to not sweat the small stuff. Which does it get? Oh. It was obvious from the moment we met that some fundamental part of us had been cut from the same cloth. We fell in love as children before going our separate ways where we grew into adulthood independently before coming back together as completely different, though slightly older adult children. <laughs> our similarities had always seemed immediately apparent, and as our relationship unfolded and our differences emerged, we discovered they were complementary. Spontaneous where I'm structured, mercurial where I'm Saturnine. You introduce an element of chaos to my life that keeps things spicy and interesting. And by treating situations in which we don't see eye to eye as opportunities to learn, explore, and grow, rather than as sources of friction, we've managed to make our differences a well of strength and a cornerstone of our relationship. Esther Farrell wrote, Love is a vessel that contains both security and adventure, and commitment offers one of life's greatest luxuries, time. Marriage is not the end of romance, but the beginning. I now pronounce you wife and husband. <laughs> you may now kiss. And to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. O'Dowd. One thing I really respect about Connor is that he really listens to Michelle. He listens. He doesn't always hear, but he listens. 
I love how you always seek fun and adventure and silliness and find ways to bring that into your relationship. I want to encourage you guys as a couple to stay on the same team, even when it's hard, and to understand that it's, it's never truly going to be 50-50. You guys are gonna be more and less capable up and down all the time. And when you can, take care of each other. And when you need, let the other take care of you. Michelle and Connor, I have a few hopes and wishes for you as you embark on this new journey together as husband and wife. First and foremost, may your love for each other remain fierce and unwavering. Remember to always respect each other's interests, desires, and dreams, and needs, even though those are sometimes different, but no less important than your own. I hope that neither of you forget that this is a once-in-a-lifetime love, and always know, in the deepest parts of your souls, that whatever challenges might carry you apart, you will always find your way back to each other. This is the time.